Freunde und herzlich willkommen bei einem kleinen, außergewöhnlichen, ja, soll man sagen, Let's Test, Let's Preview, Let's zeigt doch mal, was da wieder am Kommen ist. Und es ist nicht nur Thimbleweed Park, sondern es ist auch Ron Gilbert himself. Ich muss den Mann, glaube ich, muss ich den Mann vorstellen. Ich glaube, zwei, drei Leute muss ich den Mann vorstellen. Äh, Ron Gilbert ist derjenige, ist der, ist der Mastermind, der Mastermind damals von LucasArts, der unter anderem auch die Monkey Island Teile, die wir auch Let's Played haben, äh, der diese entwickelt, entworfen, gemacht, der Macher, Manic Menschen, alles Namen. Äh, er ist quasi eine Legende. Vertraut mir, er ist eine Legende. I just taught the people ähm, who I am. I am a legend, I'm a mastermind, mastermind. a mastermind. mastermind. Oh, so you did understand what I said, behind damn. Maniac right, right. Behind Maniac right, right, right. I am the mastermind uh, behind, <laughs> behind, I don't know. I don't even know where I'm the mastermind at. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe maybe you want to introduce yourself. How, how long have you been doing adventure games already, or games all in all? Uh, but probably, well, Maniac Mansion came out in, um, in 1987, so that was 30 years ago. So I've been making adventure I games for 30 years. I wish I had 30 years. asked. 30 years. 30 years. <laughs> I know when I say it, I, I kind of go, whoa, that's... Yeah. I should... This I should very get a real, hard. I should get a real career. <laughs> this is very... Yeah. <laughs> Real job. Maybe I think there's a, there's a there's a presidential election coming soon. Maybe you could. Uh, oh, sorry. No politics. No politics. <laughs> sorry. No. Um, make me cry. 30 Jahre. 30 Jahre macht er mal Adventure Games. Wir werden heute mal in Englisch. Wir werden heute in Englisch bleiben, weil es ist einfach höflicher, wenn der Gast natürlich versteht. Ähm, ich hoffe, das ist okay für euch. Wir spielen heute Thimbleweed Park, das neue Spiel, das ein bisschen in die Richtung Zack McCracken geht, aber ähm, ich glaube auch nur optisch. Äh, Thimbleweed Park, ähm, does it go like Zack McCracken? It reminds of Zack McCracken, right? From the graphic style. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's a lot, it's really, you know, based on Maniac Mansion, which was a game before Zack McCracken. That is true. And also, you know, Monkey Island. The, all of the art in Thibbleweed Park was done by Mark Ferrari. Most of the art was done by Mark Ferrari, mm -hmm. and he was the background artist on Monkey Island 1. Mm -hmm. So he's, you know, he's just one of the best, if not the best, pixel artists that I know. And so he did all the backgrounds for this. Nice. So he's back in the game, too. Yeah. It's, I always wanted to say that. <laughs> okay. Do we want to Because he doesn't have a real job either. So. Okay, so he ah uh, okay okay so he too has got to do adventure games yeah. again. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Do we want to start? We can do that. What have you planned? Do we do a new game or do we load a game? Uh, I'm gonna load a game. You're just, actually and just kind of skip over just the very very beginning of the game. So, ah okay. Because uh, and we'll kind of jump in. So I'm so, so when people start. Uh, Oh wait, oh, do you play on easy? Do you play your own game on easy? Did I see that right? Yes, yeah, people hard. saw that it's, right now. It's too hard for me to play on hard. So okay. I have to play it on easy. Okay, uh, so you don't know your own game because uh, <laughs> you're just. Your well, I have to. I have to go to the hint guide when I play my own games. Ah, to okay. Go to the walk. So you're just the guy with the whip. You are the corporate guy right. who whips out. It's the like the make me some puzzles. That's what yeah. I say. Do a game. It has to be good. <laughs> <laughs> No, I just I just do this demo in easy mode, um, mm -hmm. just because it you know it, because it's in easy mode it flows a little quicker. So I do the demo. I just wanted to ask, what's the difference between easy and normal? Uh, easy mode, uh, well we call it casual mode. So it's like casual mode and hard mode. Mm -hmm. And casual mode is you know for people who you know maybe haven't played point and click adventures before, or mm -hmm. people who have played them but they just don't have a whole lot of time to do it. So a lot of the harder puzzles in the game have kind of been pre-solved. I remember now Monkey Island 2. Yeah. Give me all. I think we'd better take a photo of that body before it pixelates any further. Oh, we need to take a picture of the body. So, so we are we are we are talking all the time, and he he doesn't He's, want to wait. Yeah, he was he was bored with what he we were saying. He was bored like the viewers because <laughs> two old men talk about the game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm counting for two old men. He's fresh. <laughs> okay, so what do we? Oh damn, our camera ashing. We are, I think the camera is or, or uh, ashing head icons. Yeah, yeah, ashing. I think it's a flashing head icons. Ah, okay. So, yeah. so we got these two agents. I uh, think we'd better take a photo agent of that Ray. body before it pixelates any further. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Of so course. we got we got Agent Ray and Agent Reyes, and they're here investigating uh, this dead body. Mm -hmm. And one of the first things we need to do is uh, take a picture of the body, as Agent Ray is reminding us. And we have this camera here, so let's go I'm, ahead. I'm and, marveling at the graphics right now. Yeah. So let's go ahead and use the. Uh, Use the Polaroid camera on the body. 
There's no film in the camera. Yeah, there's no uh, film in the camera. Okay, course, I, I think there's a, no. It, it's an adventure game. So yeah, of I course think there's no. no that's I think we better take a photo of that body before it pixelates any further. Right, so I think we better take a photo of the body before it pixelates away. You think away. that's what we I should do I think that's next? a good idea. Where'd yeah. you get that idea from? I don't know. I'm just that's good a, at adventure that's games. That's a really good idea. <laughs> but we need uh, a film the camera. I yeah. Think. Okay. So let's let's switch to Agent um, Agent Reyes. So now mm -hmm. we're Agent Reyes. We walk him around, and he has some film. Oh, what a so, coincidence! Yeah, exactly. Oh my God! <laughs> so let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, give uh, the Polaroid film to uh, Agent Ray. Like mm -hmm. I don't have enough to carry already. Is Ray a woman's name? Yeah, Ray. I thought Ray was a man's name. Yeah, no. So uh, oh, it is could it, be both. Is it, ah, it can be both. I didn't know that. Okay, Ray, Ray. Right. So now okay. Ray has the film and the camera, so we can mm -hmm. go ahead and we can use the Polaroid film in the camera, and now we can use the. Camera. Before pixelates away, yeah, probably, yeah. To photograph the body. Smile. A nice picture. Appears to be a male, approximately oh. 40 years old. Looks like he's been in the water for 24 hours. You can tell by the pixelation around the nose and neck. Let's see here. There's no wallet in his pockets. But I found a card, possibly a key card from a hotel. Now we can head into town and find the local sheriff. So it's fully voiced? Yes, fully voiced. Nice. Yeah, there's six, 16,000 lines of dialogue. Oh, we, we should go find the sheriff. Uh, will it get localized? Uh, the, the text will be localized uh, mm -hmm. to German and French and Spanish and Italian. But the voice oh. right now is only in English. Okay, okay, okay. I like, I like the photo very much. The photo is yeah. re really looking cute. Yeah, it's like... It's dead, I, I don't want to say it, but he looks in the photo, he looks... Please don't hurt me like a Seiyaro character back in the days. <laughs> yeah, Doesn't he's very he? low res. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's, uh, let's head into town. Um, let's go and open we should gate. go find the sheriff. Yes. We should go find the sheriff. The funny thing eh? in the camera, we are looking at the at the upper monitor, right, all the time. You want to know a fun fact? What's that? I put us on the lower monitor probably, so we doesn't look. We always look up in in the oh, air. Oh <laughs> right, okay. Yeah. Okay, which is no problem. Which is no problem. We can do it oh, like this. I see. So it's probably looking. easier if we look uh, down here yeah. and then in the cam. All right. Yeah, that's probably good. All right. So oh, now we're there's a tuner. Yeah, there's there's some tuner at the. Ah, see. Let's go ahead and look at that. See what that is. It's an empty can of Crockford's tuna heads. The good parts. Dell has that fishy tuna head smell. It's famous for. Yeah. Who eats tuna heads? I don't know. This was a backer item when we did the Kickstarter. If uh -huh. you backed at uh, like a thousand dollars or more, you got mm -hmm. to you got to create an item in the game. And so, so this, but, but this was the, a backer item. Okay, the backer item. Do they have a reason? So you, can you can you do something with them? Uh, some do. This one doesn't. But there are other backer items in the game that are uh, integral to puzzles. Okay, but so. but if I'm if I'm a player and mm -hmm. I find all sorts of items like this one here again. Mm -hmm. um, how do I know which items I have to use? Probably because they come in handy right now. Yeah, the, the items that you find at the very beginning uh, don't have as much use, but the items you find later on in the game, like after this very beginning ah. session, then you definitely, so they all have use. Is there a part of the game, like all adventure, adventure game have, um, where you lose all of your inventory? There, there are two places in the game where we kind of move from like Act One to Act Two and Act Two to Act Three. Mm -hmm. We get rid of inventory. Of course, it has to be. It's an adventure. Yeah, and we got those oh, a Atari oh, cartridge. Go ahead and pick that up. Sweet. Let's see what this is. It's the ET game for the twenty six hundred. Not so sweet. No. Okay, it's but it's a, it's, it's rare. Probably you can put it on eBay. What, 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 what? Why? I, I have no idea what that is. Wasn't was it programmed? No, it just happened. Ah, you didn't program. The, you <laughs> just cracked the whip, and yeah, you don't know the game. I I understand. That was a post. Huh. This is weird. Signals are very strong tonight. Throw bread at them. Do we have breadcrumbs? No, we don't. Not yet. What signals? The signals. Signals are very strong tonight. Hmm. Mm, yes. Mm. Yes. Okay. Yes. You already said that, but what signals? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm just screwing with you. Dark night, deserted road, me in a giant pigeon costume. It was too good to pass up. But the signals are strong tonight. 
Very strong. This is weird. I have a feeling the signals are strong tonight. This is really odd. They do this is really odd. Should I save my game? I wouldn't worry about it. The are game you? was expertly designed to have no dead ends or death. Yet still be scary and have a sense of tension. You can feel safe exploring whatever you want. Yeah, listen to the. Pain. But I'd watch out for the signals. They can be very strong and disrupt the power grid. Yeah. Are you breaking the fourth oh, wait a wall? Minute. Wait a minute. Oh, but sure. playing classic adventure games has taught me to save often. That was true up until Monkey Island. Oh. At least with Lucas Arts. <laughs> that was cheap. <laughs> so cheap. <laughs> oh man. Death and dead ends weren't making the game more enjoyable. It was actually making it I less fun. I have no fun. shame. <laughs> <laughs> Funny thing is, uh, old adventure death scenes are making more fun today. Mm -hmm. When you don't have to play them, actually, but you you like experiencing all the uh, experience all the death. Oh, the fun, the fun deaths. Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah. All right. So <laughs> I think I've had enough of you. I need to find the sheriff and solve a murder. Nice talking to you too. Whack! All right. Click 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 click. Boop. Yes. Click but click they click click. They have plumbing team. Click 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 click. Beep. Yeah, Talk to them click, again. click, click, click. No time to talk. <laughs> we need to figure out the signals. I hear the signals actually. Are you going to do this all night? Whack! Right. Click, click, click. Let's move on. And if we double click, we can run. Ah, cool. That is very, very good. Yeah, that's the big innovation. Okay, so that's uh, that's the one future a feature you yeah. have on the DVD case, right? <laughs> okay, D double click to run. Do you have uh, like like um, it's a retro game? So does it come in a box maybe one day? We will, yeah. We have a <sighs> box uh, uh, for the Kickstarter backers. We had a box that they mm -hmm. can get, and then uh, maybe sometime in the summer. It'll be a little while yeah, before please, we'll have a box. Please, please, please. Yeah, so you can put it. In I should be in the your, Kickstarter anyway. Collection. Should um, you? I should be. Did you put your name in the phone book? I don't even know. I had a long time while I moved. I I don't had answer to Kickstarter mails. That was the sound effect of my of my sentence. What is happening? What is happening? Somebody is watching. Watching her every move. So is it them? The signals are very strong. Yeah, gotta watch out for the signals. Yeah. They're very strong. You better, you better save. You better save the game. <laughs> <laughs> no, this game was expertly designed to have no dead ends or death. Fun fact mm -hmm. this sign looks exactly like the sign from SimCity 1, the Does original it? release. Do you remember no, that? that? No. No, I, I still have the box somewhere. Oh. <laughs> well. Okay, don't 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 worry about that. <laughs> no, no, uh, this looks exactly like the sign from SimCity One back in the days. Mm, I didn't know that. I don't know just that just say yes. Yes, it was. It, it was. Uh, this yeah. was inspired by the. Cool. Sign from I the like all your Easter egg in the game. <laughs> <laughs> so let's uh, just explore the little town at Thimbleweed Park. There's a sign. Willie's. Let's go ahead and look at the mm -hmm. sign. Willie's watch and violin repair shop. Thimbleweed County's most exclusive watch and violin repair. We repair watches and violins for the rich or famous. Business runs good. Yeah, well, it's kind of burnt down now. Yeah. That's an important clue later in the game, though. Oh, okay. Spoiler. okay. Ride the boom, ride the bust. Yeah. Just the White House? <laughs> it's the City Hall. Oh, okay. So let's uh, head down to A Street. Uh huh. I just love the graphics. I love the looks of it. I'm sorry. The, the, the uh, local newspaper. Let's go in. And, uh, I, I thought I could tell people something bad about the game to be more real, mm -hmm. but it doesn't work. I'm, so, I'm sorry. It's got all these newspapers. We'll go ahead and look at them. Let's see. Right at the Hitchin Post. So then we get these little newspapers with these headlines. Uh huh. How, how many newspapers are there? I think there's like 17 of these newspapers oh, holy. that you can read. Uh, anyway, let's uh, head over and... Uh, Welcome to the Thimbleweed Nickel. Eight years of experience and two degrees in journalism tells me you're a fed. Tells me you're fed? Good Did you guess, call me fed? Scoop. Fed. You That's spend as much time oh. as I have dealing with law enforcement. <laughs> you get a second sense of this stuff. Plus the cheap suits. Mm, mostly the cheap suits. Mm -hmm. All right, so mm -hmm. tell her we need we'll a need a complete press blackout. Not with the First Amendment still in place. 
The core of a strong democracy is a strong press. I just turned off the camera so you can read everything oh, okay. that it says. Yeah. Uh -huh. Do you offer home delivery? Why? You plan on moving here? Not a chance. She's a sweetie. Yeah, she's really nice. She's, uh, she's nice kind of chatting. Got a murder to solve. <laughs> All right, we're done talking. So let's head out here. So that's a murder happened, and yes. we have we have uh, to to figure out who the murder yeah, who, the murderer, who the murderer is. is yeah. And somebody's watching us actually right now. Mm -hmm. It's probably is it aliens? No spoilers. Laser disc. Yeah, la laser disc chalet. Did you have a laser disc player? I did. Damn, that is long ago. I, I had one too, but just two laser discs, which were like uh, laser discs were like like uh, CDs in large. It was like a LP as laser disc as CD, and you had movies on them, and um, awkwardly large laser disc player. Speck of dust. Oh, it's, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What? What is it? Speck of dust. <laughs> why? Why is this? Is this a Kickstarter item? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> why, 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 why do you have a speck of dust in your inventory? No spoilers. Damn. No spoilers. This, this uh, looks so good. Head to B Street. Uh huh. Pity spot. Everything's closed here. Uh, here's Everything the, uh, seems well. The town down. is kind of you know a, a has been town, right? It's mm -hmm. just kind of run down, and it's, uh, you know, it's not okay. kind of in its It's day. it's kind of like Detroit. Yeah. Or was it to but a worse. Yeah. Oh, no, worse. worse. Yeah. But it looks better. Yeah. So here's a phone. Here's a phone book. So we can go ahead and look at the phone. Oh, people don't even know what a phone book is. So this was ah. uh, all the backers for the Kickstarter uh -huh. are like in the phone book. So we've got uh, around 3,000 people back uh -huh. at the level of the Kickstarter, and they all have their names in the phone book. And then these people in bold, they actually oh. recorded voicemail messages. Andy und Silke Schiefer, hallo. So if you call, if you call these numbers, you'll um, actually hear a voicemail message. C can you can you try Andy and Silke Schiefer, the first one on the on the on the right page? This one here. Yeah, right. Okay, so it's uh, 1242. Mm-hmm. Right. 1242. Just just try. Ah, ah. Ich bin gespannt. It's ringing. Yeah. Du hast bei Silke und Andy Schäfer angerufen. Warum? Wir können dir auch nicht helfen. Ende der Kommunikation. We too can't help you. <laughs> End of communication. Andy und Silke Schäfer. Hallo. So there's a, there's a, I think around um, 1800 voicemail messages in the game for backers. So you can how, spend how, a lot of time. How much disk that. space in this thing? Uh, it's uh, 160 megabytes. Okay, that's okay. Messages. That's okay. Yeah. Uh, it's probably 22 kilohertz. Yeah, they're pretty low. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ah, cool. But it's cool that it's in, in there. I wonder if I'm in the book. Damn. We could go look. Do you want to look? Yeah, let's look. Okay. I, I'm, I'm too curious. Maybe it's now a shaming if I'm not in it. <laughs> But still, <laughs> I have to know it. Right, let's go ahead and see. Okay, look, it's phone book. Yeah, what was your name again? Uh, it's E, like Eric, e. like you knew, or, or, of course. Eric. Uh, Enrico. Eric. Uh, Eric is K, so it's probably next page. Uh, Ernst Eisler, no, no, I'm not in it. No, I'm not in no, it. You, you probably didn't back at the. Damn. Level. Or, wanna... you, or you forgot to submit your name. That's yeah, yeah, possible. could be, could be. I have to check that, and then uh, you'll hear from my lawyer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so at this point, um, we have, uh, th like I said, there are five playable characters in the game. Oh, okay. There's, you know, Agent uh, Agent Ray and Agent Reyes, mm -hmm. and then there's Ransom the Clown, who's the swearing clown. Oh, can we, see can, can we see him? Um, we, yeah, and you meet them all um, by by going into these flashbacks. Mm -hmm. And so we can do Ransom's flashback, if you want to do Ransom's flashback. Yeah, everything you got, throw everything okay, at me. All right, everything. Let's, let's, let's try Ransom's flashback. It's kind of fun. So we'll go into the diner and uh, <laughs> go ahead and talk to uh, Sam. Welcome to the S&D diner. Hey, just so you know, that article in the Thimbleweed Nickel about botulism was a smear job. So, what can I do for you, honey? 
So everyone in town, we can ask some questions, so we're gonna go ahead and mm -hmm. I'm a federal questions. agent. Know anything about the dead body? Not too much, just scuttlebutt from the morning breakfast crowd. And I don't want to get into trouble, especially with a crazy person like him. You're not talking about me, are you? Shut up, Dave! Don't screw with the feds. Tell us what you know. Okay, honey. But you didn't hear this from me. I'd look into that crazy clown that lives out at the old circus. Ah. He's been out there since the circus closed down years ago. Never takes his makeup off. He's got serial killer written all over him. It all happened about nine or ten years ago. Ransom the Jerk was the featured act at Stupendous Brothers Circus. He was about ready to go on stage and meet his well-earned doom. Big night tonight. Full house after my raunchiest Tonight Show appearance. I really got Johnny good, that little jackwad. It's his own fault for not being able to take a joke. I better get ready to go on stage and insult the crap out of these thimbleweed idiots. I just need to fix my hair, put on my makeup and clown nose, and find my joke book. All right, so now we're playing Ransom the Clown. Uh, oh, oh, wait, when you walk around... <laughs> I feel like that every day. <laughs> <laughs> so he's got this little to-do list which he uh -huh. can look at. So he needs to get his uh, clown nose, find his joke book, get his clown fro. And, did, uh, did he did he really write beeping? Is that what the yeah, clone he did? Writes. Okay, okay, yeah. Of course. Okay. So we got his clown nose right here. So let's, mm -hmm. let's go ahead and uh, can we use his clown nose? Ouch! That's <laughs> tight. Glad I only have to wear it for a couple of hours. All right, and so were the other things he needed. He needed mm -hmm. uh, his uh, the his effing joke, joke book. Joke book right? Fudging, let's call it fudging. Fudging joke book. Okay. <laughs> oh, you're pretty quick at this. It's an you're IOU. Good... Ransom the f clown lost a thousand dollars to me, Carney Joe, and I will hold his joke book hostage until I gets paid. Well, that is mean. That is mean. So a joke uh... book for a thousand dollars. That's a good deal. <laughs> It's got a oh poster over secret ah, safe. Okay. So let's go ahead and pick up that poster. And see what it's going to oh, it's a safe. Excellent. Oh, well, who wouldn't know? Yeah. All right, and so you don't even need the combo because well, you know it. Well, that's because we're playing in casual mode. If we ah. were playing in hard mode, you would need to go find the combination for the safe. Mm. So that's kind of an example of how we kind of pre-solve uh, some puzzles. Okay, here, okay, because it's that. very legit he knows the combination. Yeah. Nice. Ransom, I'm glad I caught you before you went on stage. Autographs are a hundred bucks. Ransom, I'm your business manager and lawyer. What I don't want that? your autograph. <laughs> okay, 50 then. I just wanted to let you know that your mistress is waiting at your house in Aspen. And your what? private jet is being fueled and ready to whisk you there when the show is over. What? Also, we have a deal worth millions to license a line of toddler Ransom the Clown talking insult dolls. Did he get the liability clause waived? Correct. They will assume all liability when the kids grow up to be beepholes. Good. Toddlers start out as <laughs> It's not my fault they end up that way. He's okay, a Okay, fine. 25 bucks. I should have been a dentist. <laughs> you! <laughs> he's a very classy guy. Yeah, he's he's a jerk. These shoes. Does he really have squeaky shoes? He does. Oh, <laughs> so annoying. Yeah, he's a total <laughs> jerk. Here's the mime. Talk to the mime. But still. Go f yourself. <laughs> Is there a saw maybe somewhere? You know we. Oh, actually, you know we can do this. Ah, nice. I like your thinking. Ransom, you f***ing idiot! Why did you push me? <laughs> oh! Hey, you owe five bucks to my swear jar. I'll steal your clown nose again, that's what I'll do! I'll yeah. steal your clown nose again, that's what I'll do! Is he a, fr is he a French man? Yeah, well, he's a mime, right? Ah, French... Every mime is French, of course. Yeah, of course. It's like a <laughs> national thing. So, uh, so now we're in his dressing room, and... Uh, mm -hmm. got his hair gel and oh. his makeup. So let's, Goddamn makeup, okay. Let's go ahead and use the hair gel. Ooh, uh, my cloud fro looks great now! Uh, and we use the goddamn makeup. Mm. Now there's the face I love! Alright, so let's look at our little to-do list. Very handsome. So we did the clown nose. 
Got the clown fro. Got the makeup. Oh, uh, gold stage inside the beep. Let's do that one. Okay, we gotta do these first. We okay, gotta get okay. The joke book, and we gotta go. How do you know you never played the game? I have some inside information. Okay, okay. Okay, so let's go. Uh, let's go talk to Carney Joe, who's out at the midway. Yeah, shoot the pussy cat. You got my money, clowny? That's Ransom the Clown, asswipe. Okay, you got my money, Ransom the Asswipe Clown? One thousand clams or you're not getting your joke book back. Eh, serves you right for playing the duckies. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I have your Ooh. money, a thousand Harry. bucks. Oh, so you decided to pay up. Yeah, here's your money. Now where's my joke book? Ah, uh, wait, are you messing with me? That's only a thousand dollars, and you owe me eleven hundred and thirty-eight, including the interest. What is yeah. that? What you is it? Cheap. Settle for less. Uh, beggars can't be f choosers. Oh yeah? Well, I choose to hang on to your joke book till I get the full eleven hundred and thirty-eight bucks. Now, beggar off. All right. I mm. guarantee to hit need to something. Go find some more money. No I joke believe... book, no shall. Yeah, I believe that when I we know. were uh, back backstage, there was yeah. his uh, swear jar. Ah. So let's see if there's some money in his swear jar. Okay. I just take the big bucks. All right. So now. How much we got? Now, well, let's yeah. look at the money. It's exactly eleven hundred and thirty-eight dollars in unmarked bills. Of course. Of course. Bills. What are the what odds? A, what a coincidence! Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's amazing. Holy. Amazing. All right, let's go get our joke book and then we can go insult the crap out of these thimble. Yeah, finally. Right, your skill. <laughs> Let's get the money. Mm hmm mm hmm Joe. Oh, so you decided to pay up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, not much choice. Now mm -hmm. where's my joke book? Yeah, the jokes all suck. So how'd you get to be so famous with jokes like these? Yeah? What do you know about being funny? Uh, about as much as you do, which is nothing. <laughs> now scram, clowny. You're scaring the customers. You know what I like about this, yeah, uh, this take one? Yeah, a shot at the target. There's just nice bunnies, a cute cat, and ducks to shoot. Mm -hmm. There's no monsters, just cute elements. Just the cute things. It's uh, fine. You wanna shoot the cute things. Okay, so I think we got everything, do we? Let's check mm -hmm. our to-do list. Go, yeah, check, let's go. check, 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 check. See, good hours. Go on stage and insult the bee by these idiots. Okay, this is probably your favorite part. Are you ready? I'm, I've never been ready yet. Okay, let's go. Are you? Okay. No. Hello, faces. Damn. I'm Ransom, the f insult clown. I hope no one gets their feelings hurt easily. And if you do, it's your own f fault for not being able to take a joke. Holy! I, I wanted to ask if there's Easter eggs in all LucasArts games. Mm -hmm. I wanted to ask, but I wasn't sure because if there wasn't, it wouldn't be so nice to ask. Mm -hmm. So now I have my there's answer, I guess. Awesome. Awesome. Oh. Full of Easter eggs. Yeah. Look at those Easter yeah, eggs. Yeah, and the Edisons. Edisons. Yay. And the guy in the wheelchair. You put in the guy in the wheelchair. So which you didn't forget, right? Let's go ahead and... Uh, you guys love that insults. pillow factory. Uh -huh. It's the lamest claim to fame a town has ever had. Paris has the Eiffel Tower. New York has the Statue of Liberty. And Thimbleweed Park has a pillow factory. You better hope to God that feather pillows never go out of style. Are they laughing at everything? You guys are obsessed with this Chuck guy. Seriously, I haven't seen brainwashing like this since the Manson family. Blink twice, you want me to get help? Hey you, Why? dude with the stupid mustache. You think you look like Magnum P.I.? A 70s porn star called. He wants his mustache back. <laughs> Okay, one is crying now. <laughs> uh, oh, hey, you, lady with a huge nose. I say lady, but your beak suggests you're a toucan. You shouldn't have bought tickets for the show tonight, toots. You should be saving your money for a rhinoplasty. So he's a really classy yeah, asshole. Yeah. Just, you know, yeah. she's crying now. Yeah, he's, he's crying. crying. Oh so man. Uh, hey you, <laughs> ugly old lady with the hairy mole. Or is it your parasitic twin? Whatever it is, I hope you bought a separate ticket. 
Because if it's big enough to ride the roller coaster by itself, it's not freeloading in my audience. <laughs> uh oh. You will be forever sorry for what you've just said. I curse you to never be able to remove your makeup oh. and to roam these circus grounds until the end of time. So he went on for another right. two hours, insulting everyone he could. Some people laughed because they thought it was funny, but most laughed because they were uncomfortable, and laughing is the best way to hide from the embarrassment of others. But after the show, in his dressing room, there wasn't going to be any laughter. 